Why doesn't the U.S. Navy fly the F-22 Raptor? Most people think it's because the Navy is jealous or wants its own toys. That's not even close to the real reason. When engineers tried to put this 43, 430-pound beast on an aircraft carrier, they realized something terrifying. It would become a flying death trap. The F-22 weighs more than a fully loaded truck, yet it would have to land on a deck smaller than most parking lots. When a fighter slams into a carrier at 130 miles per hour, the landing gear absorbs massive impact forces. But the F-22's landing gear wasn't built for that. It would shatter instantly, sending the jet skidding across the deck completely out of control. And that wasn't even the worst part. Aircraft carrier catapults launch jets forward with more than 30,000 pounds of violent force. During testing, engineers realized the F-22's airframe couldn't survive it. The fuselage would literally snap during launch, tearing the aircraft apart while the pilot fought for his life. The U.S. Navy actually tried to solve this. In 1988, they launched the Naval Advanced Tactical Program. The fixes were extreme. Variable sweep wings, heavily reinforced structures, stronger landing gear. In reality, it meant building an entirely new airplane. The cost? Over $300 million per jet. 